Okay, we're back here with the engine swap on the 2001 Monte Carlo. Um, yeah, I finally figured out what was the problem, I guess. Well, one of the cylinders locked up, and uh, my uh, harmonic balancer got destroyed. And I didn't even notice this was like this until just now. But yeah, this uh like I said, cylinder one or two. Yeah, cylinder one or two locked up or or the bearing on the um crankshafts um um had turned. And due to that I, I had to I had a horrible knocking from the oil pan, which is yet to be determined. I haven't uh, I haven't taken out the oil pan yet, but I'm just stripping down the old the old engine right here and the new one, and I'm taking all the new parts that I put on here to put back on this one with with less less miles on it. Uh, yeah, but uh, this is one of the problems I just found out. Well, like I said, this motor seized up on me, and it wasn't running right. After the, after after day one of knocking at the light, day two I drove it to work. Day three I drove to work. Day four I had to bring it back home, and I uh, started driving my truck. After I figured out, you know, this was a very serious problem. You know, I thought it was uh, a pulley or a motor mount broke or some type of bolt loose that had the whole engine knocking. But yeah, um, it's 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 been you know it's been making noise and whatnot. And I was trying to figure out what what could it possibly be. And you know, now I look at it, it's, it's like wow. You know, it, one well, like I say, either cylinder one or two or both. The bearing that holds the piston rod, you know, that it, it, it sits on the crankshaft with with uh, with a cap at the bottom of it, and that cap is tightened. But between the cap and the rod's groove, like this, is 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 a bearing, and uh, I'm not sure what it's called. I don't remember. Mine ain't straight right now, but. There's one half, and then there's another half that goes under. If that turns, you're fucked. <laughs> and I believe one of those two, one or two, um, turned and, you know, fucked me up. And, you know, being that the motor was getting ready to seize up, it destroyed the whole... Uh, the the harmonic balance of the whole in, entirety was destroyed, and you know the engine sits here while I uh, work on this one right here and get this one ready to go back in the car. It's been a long process. Um, it's a few parts I got to change in the car. See, one of the CV joints looks looks to be damaged. So I gotta change that now. So you know, extra work is finding me right now for some strange apparent reason. And I gotta take care of that. Um, like I said, it's, it's been a process. And I'm, I'm doing it bit by bit by bit. And between to, to, tonight and to tomorrow afternoon, this project should be 90, 100% complete engine should be running um, I'm gonna have to get a, a heavy-duty motor flush to put in that engine right there because it looked like they were lacking maintenance on this engine or due to condensation and wherever warehouse they, they they put it in it, it looks a little a little rough to me so I'm gonna put oil in here let it run for two days drain it out put a big flush let it run for an hour you know not drive the car but let the car run for an hour and then from there on, I can see what other steps I can take to clean to clean the insides of the engine. Um, this one is a lost cause. Like I said, cylinder one and two 
look like it's fucked up on me. So, I, you know, I can't really sit out here and play with this because I'm on a deadline with myself. Yes, I have my own deadline with myself to get this engine up and running. But this is a little quick video. You can see all this right here. I took apart the upper intake, lower intake manifold. I got my old one right here, which is going on the new motor. It looks better than the old one over there. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm taking things from the, this my engine and putting it in that engine because I'm familiar with my engine and I know what's broken and what's not. So, you know, and I don't know what, what's going on with the other motor as far as uh, what's cracked and what's not cracked because I haven't ran, ran the motor yet to do compression checks or leak tests and none of that. So I'm just... And all in all, changing gaskets and doing doing the full line, putting new spark plugs, wires, and uh, I have new distributor caps from this engine, so I'm just gonna move everything over to that one. And that's the build process right now. I'm sitting on the floor, Indian style, playing with tools and toys. But this is the life in the day of me. And this is what I'm doing right now. I'm gutting this all out, getting it ready to. You know, put, have something new put in. Uh, the water pump got to go. All type of nonsense got to go out of this engine. And, you know, since everything is new from this one, I'm just going to move it over to that one. And hopefully the process don't take any more than the next four hours. I do have to go to the auto parts store and make a few runs, pick up some tools. So, yeah.